Hi, this is Jaden with Adventure Pilot, and today I'm going to be walking you guys through how to file a flight plan in iFlight EFB through 1-800-WX-Brief and also how to get a weather briefing. So first off, we're actually going to go to 1-800-WX-Brief's website. And once we're on their website, it's going to pull us over to the main page in the top right. Make sure you log in. And if we actually go to the dashboard, you'll notice um, it has flight plans that are filed and it'll let you activate or close them here and it'll also list the ones that you file from iFly. And so furthermore, what we're also going to do is we're going to go to account and then service provider authorization. Now this is what, what this is going to do is if you check mark iFly GPS as yes, it's going to allow us to um, access 1-800-WX-Brief on your behalf and um, activate, cancel, and amend and close flight plans um, as well as receive weather briefings. And so you definitely want to make sure you check mark yes here. Now that we've got that out of the way, we'll go back into iFly. And the first thing we're going to set up actually is our aircraft profile. Uh, it's important to set up the aircraft profile because this goes into automatically filling some of the filing form and the weather briefing form. So we'll click menu, setup, and then aircraft. And so um, if you don't have a current aircraft profile, you'll just click create new profile. But since I do have one, I will just click edit. Now we see my Cessna 150 and all the performance specs about it, as well as my special equipment and my aircraft color. And so these are all going to go into your filing form. And so it's just important that you make sure you have this filled out. But since I do have this filled out, we'll click close. And then we'll actually go into create a flight plan uh, to get a briefing for. So our flight plan is just going to be um, from McKinney National, KTKI, over to Durant. And so we'll click done, and then we'll get our briefing. So on the flight plan page, what you'll do is you'll click briefing slash filing and get briefing. It may take a second, but I'll get back to you once it loads. Now that our weather briefing is loaded, you'll see we have all the tabs that's shown on 1-800-WX brief. And so we have our adverse conditions, um, the departure weather, our destination weather, any notams at those airports, TFRs, our synopsis, cloud coverage, visibility, all of that good information. And so you just go through these and make sure everything looks good. Um, and so uh, I've just verified my briefing. I took a look at everything. I'm not going to do that today just because it's going to take a little while. But let's just say I did. And so we'd click close. And now we'll go on over to filing. And so that's going to be in the same spot, briefing slash filing. And we will click file new plan. It also, keep in mind, it lets you view the last briefing you made. Um, so you can always just click that there. So now that we're going ready to file, We'll get our normal filing format here. Um, some important things, you know, the plan type, if it's IFR or VFR, we're going to VFR our flight plan today. Um, and of course, all the information here. You can see it automatically filled some of the things um, from our aircraft profile. And so that just makes your life easier. And then, you know, the departure time here. And so we'll go through, make sure this is all good. And once you get to the bottom here, this is most likely really just the most important part. And that's going to be including your 1-800-WX-Brief account name, your name, your address, and the other stuff required for the form. And you just want to make sure the account name is there. That way iFly knows to link you to 1-800-WX-Brief. Uh, now, once we've had this form filled out, we can click Options and file VFR plan. And so do you want to file this plan online? And it shows your departure. OK, now that our flight plan's filed, it lets us know that. We'll click OK. And now we can close this form. And so now if we know, we can click briefing slash filing again. And it'll say view filed plan, currently filed plans. Um, and so we can view the filed plan and see what it has. If we need to amend anything here, we can do that as well. Say we need to push our departure time back. Um, 
stuff like that. And so let's say we actually, you know, the weather's bad, um, so we're going to cancel our flight plan and not fly today. So to do that, we'll click Options and Cancel VFR Plan. Keep in mind, you can also activate from here as well. Um, also, you can activate the flight plan still through 1-800-WX's um, briefs, um, easy activate through your email. Um, but you can click this here to activate. But I'm just going to click Cancel VFR Plan. Yes. All right, now our flight plan's been successfully canceled. Um, it's the same process for um, activating it. So you'd activate it, and then you'd click Briefing Filing again, um, go to the briefing, um, and then you could uh, close the flight plan once you've landed. Um, but that's all good. Um, so I hope you guys learned a little bit about how to use the filing features in iFly. And if you have any questions, feel free to reach out at support at adventurepilot.com or give us a call at 214-585-0444. Thanks. Bye.